Hey, in this lesson, we want to learn about using Google Maps as an effective marketing strategy. So why is Google Maps important for marketing? Google Maps marketing is basically optimizing your online presence so that you figure in the top three results in Google Maps. The top three results matter a lot for any user who search for a particular type of business online. So why is Google Maps marketing so important and critical? And why is featuring in the top three results so crucial? Simple, Google Maps is hyperlocal. Let's say the user is in a particular area wanting to have a quick bite. He's hungry, he wants to have something quickly and he uses Google Maps to search, figure out what's there around. The chances that he will go beyond the third or the fourth result would be very rare. He would pick up something within the first three to five choices. So it is critical that your business features in these top choices so that the user picks you up. So how do you feature your business on Google Maps? There's something called Google My Business, GMB. This is how you feature on Google Maps. This is open to all businesses that have in contact selling, which means that you should be open to meet customers in the designated place that you have listed out there during the established or displayed working hours. So in case you are a business that does not have an operating place, you may not be eligible for Google My Business. So what can you list out on Google My Business? You can list out all details pertaining to your business, the critical details that is name, contact details, address and uh, opening hours, closing hours. All these details can be featured along with your product, product images so that your prospective customers can see everything online before making it to your store. So let us see how to create a presence on Google My Business. So you can use your Google account to sign in. I'm already signed in, so that part is taken care of. Let's say I want to create a business in the name of Sid Balega. Since it's not existing anyway, so create a business with this name. And I click next. Which category? Let's say it belongs to education or it's an educational consultant, right? This location will show up on Google Maps and search when customers are looking for your business. So that's exactly what we want. Yes, next. So what's the address? So let's say MG Road, City Bangalore, 560001. In Karnataka State. Here we go, next. Let's, let's point out exactly. So let's assume this place is correct. And we do next. Do you also serve customers outside this location? Yes, I also serve them outside my location. Next. Add the areas you serve. That's optional. And I just go on. Next. Okay. So how can customers get in touch with you? You can just add your number here. And let's say website. Let me enter my website. Sitbaliga.com Want updates and recommendations for your business in Google? If you want to click yes, you may do so or you click no. And then go next. and then click on finish and you will be able to publish what you just created so you will have to verify this so select the best form of verification verify either by mail or you can do it later too add some more details and save and you are done
so you should be able to start seeing google my business on maps hope you find this useful so how do you optimize your gmb google my business presence on google maps there are broadly two tactics one is to have reviews have as many good reviews as possible obviously there would be some bad reviews as well you cannot have 100% satisfied customers that's fair enough any any user would appreciate that but try to get reviews on your google business page only star ratings will not help text reviews along with images are important second it is a very different kind of a tactic or optimization technique unlike any other uh, technique that you might have read about until now anywhere in this course this is not about optimizing your page or optimizing your business it's more about fighting off spam you will note that many of these listings which might be much ahead of you or uh, above you in the rankings would be just typical spam the businesses may or may not exist in case they do exist they may not have in contact selling they might have just done keyword stuffing and they may not have even have proper details in place but despite all this they might be ranking above you because of the keyword stuffing or image stuffing or whatever tactics they might have used to reach there so you have to fight off this spam one by raising an issue saying that the content or the keywords are spam or second re requesting for a complete removal of that business it's not so easy it's just because you raise a complaint google is not going to just strike off that listing of the map and get you to position number 1 or 2 or so on but it is imperative that you have enough evidence collected that you can submit to prove that it is fake it is bogus it has got keyword stuffing and the business actually does not maybe even exist in such cases there is a possibility that such spammy listings are removed thus paving the path for you to grow forward so to sum up as with any other technique in seo google map marketing is an ongoing strategy it is not a one time thing you have to keep tab of what's happening on google my business you have to check what competitors are doing are they racing ahead what kind of reviews are people posting proactively reaching out to customers for reviews and trying to stay ahead in the race